that safe. Folks, Sunday, welcome aboard. Margu campaign, aka Tri Generational campaign. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. Uh, today we will be playing, uh, as I stated, the Margu B side campaign. Uh, and we will get to the uh, two week hiatus recap here in just a minute. First, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, like a phone case, shower curtain, shit like that, the link is down here. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the talk show on Tuesdays or on the one shot, probably next Saturday, hit us up, mhobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, if you're in the market for custom dice, uh, like old Big Red here, try on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, if your game stinks and doesn't smell like our successful uh, scenarios, Thanks, try some Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Uh, they also just finished up their very successful Kickstarter on how to RPG with your cat. And if you want to learn how to write gooder than me, uh, check out their shine system. Folks, again, Margu B side campaign. Let's introduce you to the people who are going to make you say, the hell are they doing? Uh, we will start with AJ first. AJ, who are you and who do you play? I am playing Ralph, the mountain dwarf <clears throat> fighter. And as I recall, I am <laughs> kind of typecast in my character. He's very similar to Felix, but but he is also haunted. <laughs> I didn't oh. take good notes on the character, so I can't remember what else he's doing. <laughs> All right. Well, you've only this is only your third scenario, really. So you know, right? So I say. can't keep them all straight. All right. Yeah, you guys he's played another scenario, and he still plays the same type character. Ah, uh, don't we? Totally all. typecast. Uh, the senior member of our group is up next. Uh, Frank Senior, who are you? Who are you playing? You're muted, Pops. That was his best intro yet. And it sucks now. <laughs> He's still muted. There oh, man. I am playing Leon Sphinx. The Leonin Barbarian. One of the Sphinx brothers. That is a great intro. Period. End of story. Uh, you know, it puts Nicholas to shame. Sophia, you're next. The youngest murderer hobo. Who are you? Who do you play? I name it Beelzebub, and I... <laughs> what are you playing? Oh, a fun Asmar Warlock. One of Frank's favorites. I love Asmar. Oh, yeah. On a True. spit with their head severed. Truly, I love them. Uh, her father and middle Frank. Same question, different answers. I am playing Barnum, a battle torn, worn battle uh, uh, cleric who has fallen from grace and has lost <laughs> his mind. Who is now a mad, mad cleric who travels as a uh, uh, evil band of freaks and. Made mad characters, which is called this band right here. I am a cleric who likes to place upon death and life all at the same time. Sometimes I forget who I'm supposed to heal and who I'm not. Nicely said. Uh, the last member of this ensemble is the only member who's part of a boy band, apparently. Uh, little Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Gornak the Mighty. A Leon Barbarian with the strength of a thousand suns. Why don't you turn yourself down a hair? I know. I, I, I realize that if I start yelling, the microphone quality gets really, really bad. Yes. Well, don't yell. The power of my voice, baby. He used to be in a band called BTS, got kicked out. Now he's just full of BS. Uh -huh. Nice. There is no uh, tea anymore. Folks, uh, this is the Margu B-Side campaign. These guys are all fourth level. Uh, they used to be caravan guards, but due to a restructuring in the economic development of the Garnet Mine Inc., now Garnet Inc., uh, these guys have been summarily 
given uh, their walk-in papers. Now, some of them were happy about the opportunity to grow uh, as a new person. Others, uh, somewhat bitter. Uh, these guys actually met one of the more bitter, bull, bull bitter? More bitter? More, more? Yeah, I a little ring yeah, to it there. You know, kind of kind of ties everything in. Makes me uh, want to break out in song. <laughs> here comes uh, the king, here comes the king. Uh, last time they met the legendary guard Hamish Tenson. Uh, he was not happy about giving the axe. Uh, he is well aware that Garnet Inc. has fired all the senior guards so that they could pay oh. lollygagging new guards, much less uh, making the caravans much less safe. Hamish uh, appeared, appeared to be organizing an ambush uh, but these guys left the camp before they could become willing associates and suffer the same fate that Hamish will probably suffer. Uh, these guys are headed off to a cave in the middle of the old caravan route. Uh, they met a couple of adventurers while they were in Faust, uh, and they were given the heads up before they were summarily expelled from the town of Faust and uh, sent along their merry way. Uh, last time they did cool things like leave Hamish, uh, found some bugbears, uh, found a creepy religious family in the middle of the woods with no seemingly good reason to be there. And now they are headed off to the mountains where this cave is allegedly supposed to be housing giant snakes. Um, who knows? As you guys trek forward, it becomes partly cloudy uh, and you start to cross over the foothills. Everybody give me an investigation check as you scan the terrain. Investigation. <clears throat> 15. Yep, 13. 7. Good roll, Sophia. I suck. There it is. Hmm. 14. There we go. Five. Uh, looks like Ralph, the eagle-eyed mountain dwarf, uh, <laughs> traces along the river and notices uh, the river spouts out of the mountain, but just above this river waterfall area is a cavern opening. Must be the old mountain dwarf in him. Uh, good news, you are on the correct side. Uh, so as you trek up along the mountain, uh, the way is not easy. So using your best mountain climbing skills, everybody go ahead and give me either acrobatics or survival. Assuming oh. you want to go to the cave. Plus one. That'd be a natural 20. Plus six, so... 18, dirty, like the dirty boy he is. So you're one or two. So which one are you going to roll? There you go. 18. 18. Yeah. Right. I got a big old 15. Ralph, you don't look happy. Oh, no. I must have been on mute when I said 11. Yep. You don't look too happy as you slide down the way. Were you leading by chance? Probably because I was the one who could see where we were headed. Judging uh, by the sound you're making, we're going. He to must have. Eating. He must have been because he couldn't have seen over me or Gornak either one. So who's <laughs> number two in this group? Any I, takers? I'll, I'll go take. two. If you want, uh, Leon. You see Ralph the Mountain Dwarf sliding down directly, barreling towards you as he takes eight hit points in the process. And you will need to either catch him or dodge him. <laughs> I'd be dodging his ass. <laughs> if you want to catch him, use strength. If you want to dodge him, use I'll acrobatics. Him. Okay. That's a 20. Dirty. Uh, the Leonid Barbarian sticks his foot out, and Ralph, you come to a sudden halt. Uh, but you suffer no more damage. Go ahead and try it again, Ralph. Leon Sphinx, you're my hero. <laughs> yeah, next time, next time I'll catch you with a dew claw. How about 12? <laughs> Jesus. I'm short. Leave me alone. Take 
What kind of more damage? And Leon, what do you want to do this time? I'll try to catch him again. <clears throat> Can we just pick him up? Can we just pick him up and throw him? 16. Stopped again. Ralph, third time is charm. Ralph, I'm going to talk now. Let me go ahead. <laughs> First, and maybe I can uh, find something. I'll attach a rope so you can pull yourself up with that. <laughs> Investigation okay. check. What, what kind of mountain troll are you? Can't even climb up a simple hill. Uh, 14 uh, on yeah, my investigation check. Yeah, you can uh, throw a line to Ralph and have him roll at advantage this time. All right. Make sure you spit on your hands a couple times. Oh, good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a dirty 20 on that one. What was the other roll? And the dice read four, so it wouldn't have been good. Uh, you guys all make it up to this uh, landing on this rocky surface, and uh, a putrid sewer kind of aroma escapes this Ralph? owl cave. Is that you, Ralph? Ah, it smells like mountain dwarves around here. Oh, oh man. man. Ah, it smells hey, so man. good. It smells you know like... They home. live here. They make freaking trolls smell good. Inside the cave, the cavern opening is, of course, dark. Uh, I know some of you have dark vision. That will help, but it won't cure all your ills. Uh, to see that stuff, you go to the... I guess let's light some torches. Uh, who wants to go into the uh, foul smelling orifice first? Racial traits. There you go. You can I'll let that mountain dwarf go first. Oh, I might as well. Feels like just about here. right. You go in, torches lit. Uh, you see miscellaneous cobwebs, nothing that looks too serious. Uh, a lot of dust, dirt, a lot of loose stone. You see a pommel to a broken dagger. And you see drag marks leading deeper into the cave. Flanking the entrance are two heavily pitted from weather uh, serpent pillars, uh, kind of like cobras overlooking the entrance. At one time, they were probably very pretty. Now, Mother Nature's taking a beating on them. <laughs> you will have to pass between them to enter the cavern deeper. How far uh, in are the pillars? Yeah. About five feet. Okay. Did anybody I'm follow light a candle no? and stick it on the little spike at the top of my shield like, so I can yeah. see? A candle? I'm a, I was like, go ahead, dwarf. I got your back. All righty. I'm going to walk through and I'm going to whisper something to myself as I walk Ugh. past him. Uh, and uh, I, the and, intention is. Uh, I have to say the magic words to pass without incident. Okay. Uh, as you slowly turn step it's by fine. step, <laughs> uh, you make it through the opening and notice that the drag marks continue. Okay. Okay. A rock drops from the ceiling ahead of you about 12 feet and rolls to your feet. Uh, if I assume the rock is relatively small and I can pick it up. Sure. Maybe a golf uh, ball size. <clears throat> I'm going to turn around and look back at the entrance and think briefly about turning back. But instead, I'm going to take the rock and throw it forward into the darkness. Okay. Uh, is anyone else inside this cavern yet? Okay. I'm following him, so I, I guess. And Beal, did I hear you put a candle on top of your shield? Yeah, I can't. Barnum. No, Barnum did. I can't see shit. Oh, uh, Barnum, the uh, breeze poof, wipes out the candle. Uh, Ralph, uh, you give it a heave ho, and you hear chink, 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 chink. chink. And it comes rolling back to you. Huh. Well, looks like we have an inside mountain now, fellas. Hey, Leon, why don't you walk up there and throw a rope for me again? 
I'll, I'll move past him. I'll move forward. Uh, as you move past, your dark vision kind of picks up some irregularities in this cavern. It looks like it branches off on a Y, but directly ahead of you is kind of a sloped incline. And give me an insight check. While he's doing that, she's going to cast light on a rock for me so I can see. That's sure. three. Uh, 23, natural 20. Uh, you kind of assume that when Ralph threw the rock, it hit the incline, went up the incline, came down the incline, and rolled back. You also notice drag marks to the left, drag marks to the right. I can't see anything farther up the slope. No, the it incline. just it goes right up to the ceiling. Okay, up to the ceiling. Okay. Well, I, I'll tell Ralph, Ralph. I got drag marks to the right, drag marks to the left. Are you so writing a song to choose one? Here, Leon? Nope. I'm going to do a little. Uh, yeah, yeah. So why don't you just uh, poke your head up there and scurry on up there like the cat that you are, and then drop me a rope and we'll go right over this little hump in the uh, cave. Now, see, the incline is not that bad. It's just that rounded portion at the back. Oh, it, it's not the incline. It's that Ralph is scared, and Ralph doesn't want to go first. Rounded portion at the back, but you said it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Yep. Okay. Now, I'm going to, I'm just going to pick a side, A, B, C, D. I'm going to the right because I'm right handed. The right, you notice fresh droplets of blood. Now I'm gonna, not going to say anything. I'm going to point to uh, uh, point them out to uh, <clears throat> Ralph. 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 Barnum, Beal, and Gornak. What are you doing? I'm just following the group, holding <clears throat> my rock above my head so I can see what the hell's going on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gornak. Are we farther behind them? We're behind them, right? They went ahead. They went ahead. You're can I... in the entrance as far as I can tell. Okay, and they went. So I'll just shout. Is there okay? Ah! You know one of those? Sure. Yeah, you can do that. We're going to alert everybody. We're here, damn it. Mm -hmm. Leon and Ralph, uh, you get on edge as Gornak decides to go ahead and Beow, beow, beow. Ring the dinner bell because now everybody knows you're here. Uh, oh, Leon and Ralph, you pick up a faint echo as his voice goes down and then his voice comes back on your side. Uh, Ralph, give me an investigation check. Thirty twenty. <laughs> you see the blood droplets that Leon failed to tell you about. Hmm. Fresh blood. I pointed Fresh the blood droplets out to him. Is that the ones you're talking about? Uh, well, you saw them, but you didn't point them out. No, I, I, maybe I had my mute on. My bad. Okay. Uh, so you guys are going down to the right. Yeah. You notice that... Mm -hmm. uh, there seems to be some moisture in the air, uh, and on the wall, you see drizzles of water that go down into cracks in this tunnel. So the tunnel will not flood. The tunnel is also declining, not at a great rate, but it is noticeable. Uh, more pebbles, more dust, more dirt, more drag marks, and some blood marks. Uh, Barnum, Beal, and then Gornak, you were following along, or did you want to go down the left trail? Oh, uh, the, the old split the party trick, hey there, DM. I'm nearly asking. I'm just. I was following the follow. group. I'm right. following. Gornak, give me an investigation check. Unmute. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna stay on mute. Mike. Um, inst invest instigation. Invest instigation. Yeah, that's it. Thirteen. Uh, you hear a slight whistling coming out of the left tunnel. 
probably in response to your, hey, you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the group continues down the right. So they're going right. I hear listening from the left. Mm -hmm. Am I like, can I like tap like one of them on the shoulder and like Barnum on the shoulder and say, hey, I hear whistling over here. <clears throat> sure, you can do that. I'll do that then. Barnum? What? What do you what do you want? There's whistling over there. I'm sure it's just the wind. No, I want to go see it though. Well, go see it. Fine. Why you're dead? I don't I didn't want to careful, it's a trick question. I know. <laughs> Leon, as you lead the group down deeper and deeper, you go uh, maybe 100 feet down. The air's a little cooler. Uh, the scenery has not changed. Uh, the light coming from Ralph's torch silhouettes you nicely, so any marksman will be able to pick you off. And you notice that the <laughs> tunnel here branches off into three, left, straight, and right. I'm going to stop and wait on the rest of the party to catch up. Uh, Barnum and Gornak, have you uh, mended fences, made your decision? Yeah, I was going to go to the whistling. Okay. Uh, How Barnum, far is everybody else ahead of us? <clears throat> well, they, they were moving at a decent clip, so uh, Leon, Ralph, and uh, Beal are probably 75 feet ahead of you. Plus, so it's, it's twisting and curving. No, a whisper would not get their attention. I want to yell at Gornak. We shouldn't split the party, dude. Well, yeah. whistle and then go with me. Is it, that's called splitting the party. Dude, haven't you ever seen horror movies? You don't split the party. But you shouldn't you hide behind the wall with chainsaws? I thought that was what you're yeah, supposed to do. That's, that's it's what down I was that way. Ah, fine, man. Let's go check it out later, though. Yes. Keep an eye. Do you remember where we're at? Visually in it, visualize it in your mind. We're right here. Let's put a pin in it. And let's continue. Where? I don't have a pin on me. Where are we? There's the pin in the wall. Hey, hey leave, bread, leave breadcrumbs, Hansel. Yeah. Oh, yes, hey, while we're here, Leon, let's mark this path that we came down so that when we yeah. have to run back out, we know which way to go. Yeah, good idea. How you going? Yeah, all I, I, I think all we had to do is follow the blood trail out. Oh, if you think there's only one blood trail in this place, you are sorely mistaken. <laughs> How do we mark it? Hmm. A nice big it. handprint. Bloody handprint. I'll take the, the pointy part of the haft of my battle axe and chip some stone. I was just going to suggest that we pee down the trail and then we'll... Yeah, right. We'll that would work. Way. Yeah. While you guys are discussing that, I'm going to pull my pants down, drop trowel over here by the wall. It won't make it smell any worse. But I know the smell of my own poop. I'll be able to find it. Sure. Okay. I'll, go ahead, I'll go ahead and scratch a big X into the wall of the tunnel. Sure. You were so, here. So, Leon, you've got a left, a straight, and a right. All right. I'm going to look at the group. Right you is right. Choices, which one you want to try? Right is right. Sure. Right is always right. One die six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let fate choose for you. All right. That was a two. That's to the left. To the left. Left to go. Left. <laughs> left. left is wrong. Right is right. Uh, give me a perception check, Leon. That's 14. And now, wait. Was that one of dice kicks? Was that one of Frank's dice? Because we could have been screwed. No, I got to find my perception. 14, 3, 17. Yes. The murder hobo guy never screw you over. 17. Uh, <laughs> you hear drop. Drop. Not drip, but drop. 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 Not drip, big, drop. Someone down the hallway is saying drop at us. Sounds like someone's pooping in here. Yes. Oh, I, I just did. A actually, you will smell that as well. <laughs> I figured that's what the Th smell think was up, from. Think up periscope when the one guy farts. <laughs> Brother sub to the back. That's high quality film right there. That's right. That's cool. You know what? Uh, screw the Oscars. Those guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, they're political. So, uh, do you continue on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I want to know what that noise is. <laughs> you also notice, Leon, that uh, the blood uh, there doesn't seem to be any here. Uh, as you gingerly start to move down, you see water lapping at the tunnel uh, beyond in the darkness. You can still hear the drop, drop, drop. I'm going to stop and I'm going to pass the word back. Hey, this thing's underwater. Oh, the trail? Apparently. Or under the lake? No. The Whatever trail's the trail. underwater, yeah. That's, that's what I meant. Or does the trail go in and under? The water. Uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't stepped in to test yet. I'm not going to step in and find out. I'm a cat, and I see water. My ass ain't going in it. Yeah, we Ralph, just, no. I unless mean, unless I have to. Ralph's a mountain dwarf. He doesn't take baths. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, ain't going to make him smell any worse. It it could make Mister Ass smell a little bit better. Oh, we got to check it out, people. Yeah, oh, you guys. Why don't you do a part of it? I'll go up. Yeah, do it. You got he's got his he's got his stunt light stone. What do you see? Uh, down there. You see a kidney bean style shaped uh cavern that kind of circles to the left. Uh the cave that you see is filled with water, uh, and the water slowly laps up against the trail. Is it murky or clear? Oh no, it's murky. Uh, there's a lot of calcium deposits in here. Nah. Well, this trail ends, and I don't breathe underwater. Uh, All right. Go ahead, back. The water. I think we head back, try a different trail. <clears throat> Everybody, or, or I go flirting into that. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, you find uh, the Barnum marker at the split. Yep. Easy to decipher. Uh, you have the Middle one or the one to the right? We'll right put a big, put, I'll put three wavy lines and scratch one to the, on this tunnel. One to the right. Uh, no markings, no blood. Uh, you find a small draft, very faint, almost imperceptible, but it smells like Barnum's marker. Uh, and you notice that the decline on this one is a little bit a little bit rougher. I'm going to stop everybody and say, there's no blood here. We were following the trail of blood down this path. Middle. Middle. So maybe we should go back, check the middle one before we go any farther. And this is getting really steep. We know how, how, how agile the mountain dwarf is. That's why you got to let him lead. Unless you're going up, then he's got to haul back. Yeah. So why don't we check the middle one first and see if that blood trail continues. Same marching order, I assume? That sounds okay to me. I don't care. So, <clears throat> Leon, as you uh, head about 50 feet down uh, this winding tunnel, no blood, uh, a, a lot more webs, a lot more spider webs. These guys have been quite busy. Every once in a while, you'll tear off a, a web and you'll see little tiny spiders run for cover. Uh but it, the deeper Spiders. you go, the more mesh-like the webs become. You know, I wonder if these will burn. You can light it up if you want. You're going to do that. I'm going to step <clears throat> back, give them a little bit of room. <clears throat> well, I'm not. I mean, before, I want to try them before we get in where they're really thick. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm going to step back, let him burn the shit. That catches all of us on I'm fire. A, I'm gonna I'm get out the old flint steel and spark well, it up. Got baby. His torch. I was I don't it, I was about to say here. I I'm just gonna cast sacred flame at him. I, I don't think sacred flame actually. It won't burns. it won't light anything up. Yeah. Radiant. I thought it was a radiant one. Flame it like is. radiance. Oh, it's flame light. Yeah. I'll just light a torch. I'll just light a torch. Okay. So you got a torch. Ralph has a torch. Barnum has his oh. uh, magic stone. She's Born got a huh? So she I'll light a torch and try it. You light the torch and boy, those webs just go up. I mean, you hear a pop, a sizzle, oh, hell yeah, and, baby. and it runs almost like gunpowder uh, down around the bend, blah, 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 blah. Give me a perception check. Oh, baby. Can't wait for the big oh. I am so ready for it to say, take an initiative roll. Uh, 14 and 3, 17. 17. There's, 
there's something moving around, just probably around the corner. <sighs> hey, I think we woke something up. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready. We? This was not. Yes, this was we. Not a we. I'm gonna move. Are you forward. French? This was not a we thing. I'm gonna move forward. I don't think it matters. Uh, you move forward. The corridor narrows. Uh, Lovely. Exponentially. Uh, Leon is the only one that can fit through, and he kind of has to three quarters it to move through with his torch. Uh, as you get through the choke point, uh, you see a, a not a truly expansive cavern, but a big cave, uh, a lot of floor to ceiling uh, rock pillars, stalactites, stalagmite things. Uh, and it's, everything in here smells like it's been burnt. Uh, the first thing you notice with your torch <clears throat> is the glint of several pieces of gold uh, right at the base. So while the tunnel descends and curves, uh, it flattens out in this cave. Okay. I'll, I'll yell back up the tunnel. Guys, I see gold. Ralph immediately knocks you over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I'm going to move ahead and give them room to come in. Uh, you move in. You peel off to one side. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Plus one. 16. At the base, uh, you see an old leather coin purse. Uh, there are a few coins in it, and then a few more coins scattered down deeper into the cave, like they rolled in. Uh, over to one side, there's a gem or two. Uh, over to the other side, maybe another couple coins. It looks as though somebody has spilled a coin purse and the contents have uh, gone their separate ways. Oh, okay. Well, the ones that are close to the purse, if I'm close to it, it's going in my pouch. 16 of them. And the gems? Uh, the gems are a little bit further away. I'll have to go after them. Okay. How far away? A few I'm feet, I'll move on. 20, 25 feet tops. Matt, Ralph, I'm I'll move on up. Right upwards. Yeah, uh, I'll look around, see whatever's near me, and I'll start scooping stuff up. In the light, you see some quartz fittings in the stone, uh, giving a cascading kind of effect. You Ooh, see Leon, walk ahead, pick one, walk ahead, pick another. Uh, he continues to go along this trail as Ralph and Barnum hold up the torches. Everything just sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. And then give me an insight check, both of you. Natural 20. 30, 22. Both of you notice several glittering objects and say in unison, Budge. Roll well, initiative, everybody. Damn it. I knew we had to look up. 20, first of the night. Uh, well, I'm glad you got that out of your system. 17. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I get a plus on that. 19. 12. 19. 19. Nine. 12. 9. Oh, wow. Gornak and Barnum. I got 17. Five. It took me a minute because it's so dark in here. I turn the light off. Would be nice for you. I got a nine. I got a five. She has nine. I said that already. Oh, did you? The next twenty takes effect, and three giant arachnids scurry <laughs> forwards. They go after Uno, Ralph, Zero, Gornak, mm. and Seven. Uh, nine, ten, eight, seven. Uh, Barnum. So, uh, what can I do? Uh, one to five or six. So on Ralph, I'm going to bite you. Uh, not with a three. On Barnum, I'm going to bite you. Uh, not with a two. Uh, and Gornak, I'm going to bite you. Oh. Nice. With the 19 plus 3. That sounds great. Uh, give me a con save and take 4 hit points of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun. 
Con save. Ooh, I'm really good with constitution. But my rolls still suck. That's a 10. 10? 10. Take six hit points of poison damage. <laughs> so that's you... with the four as well? <clears throat> yep. And you will suffer minus one to attack rolls as uh, crippling arthritis begins to set in on you. Uh, uh, we'll, I feel we'll... old. Start with a 19. Leon. Who's which who's closest to me? Uh probably Ralph. All right. Whatever that spider. It's not face me. I want to jump on it. Sure. Uh keep in mind uh, the cave is not expansive, but it is large. So if you're gonna be a rodeo clown, you may get your teeth knocked out by a stone edifice. The ceiling's not that high, you mean. Correct. It's high enough oh, to okay. jump on top of it, but if it decides to run rear away up, or charge... Yeah. I'll, just right. tack it. I'll just tack it from the rear. Sure. I have two attacks. Oh, 16 and 7. That's 23. <laughs> 14 to hit the giant spider. And 18. I hit with both. Die 8 plus 5. Ooh, that's an eight. 13 and seven and five, 12, 25 points. Nice. 17, Gornak, the mighty. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to hit it with my big old, big old, big old, big old, big old great axe. You don't get it. He only gets one attack right now because of level five. You're not level five. What about a 12? Is a 12 hit it? No. No, no a 12. Not. Are you sure about that? I'm positive. Let me double check. No. Ah, that's uh, <laughs> The axe rings off the stone ceiling. Uh, next up is the 12. Ralph. Come on, Ralph. All right. The uh, first thing I'm going to do is drop my torch as soon as I see the spiders and reach for my two-handed two axe. I'm going to swing oh, my great axe. Just Give me a survival roll. Are there still first. spider webs in there? We're dropping the torch. Nope. Yep. No. We're dropping the torch. You're dropping it on your foot. Uh, nineteen. Damn. Nope. Burn it's my good one. It's yeah. Lit. That that could have been your attack, man. No, I know. It's lit. So swing that axe, baby cakes. No, I miss with a seven uh, nine. That does miss as well. Uh, next up is the nine, Beal. Huh? Be Beelzebub. Spider thing. Come on, Bob, get it. Get him, Bob, get him. Don't you remember your eldritch class? Come um, on, get him. Is she get engaged him, with any of them? She's not engaged with them, right? She has to choose who she's going after. Yours, Ralph's, or Gornax. Who am I close? Who am I close to? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know either. You ask him. Not Who, me. I don't know. Who am I closest to? Uh, you'd be closest next to Barnum. So there's one right in front of me. I'm going to help attack his. Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to use an Eldr Eldrick Blast Eldr on his. Okay. Yeah. Well, this roll, is your roll, hit. Roll, roll, you got to roll to hit. Roll, roll, roll. Roll to hit. Roll to hit. Roll to hit. Are you rolling? Are you no, that's 21. 21. I'm pretty sure you hit. Yeah. Now you roll your damage. Person. Your arcane magic strikes true. Nine. You tell him. <coughs> me. Nine. For the Nine damage. damage to the number two. Last but certainly not least, Barnum. All right, my turn. Guided bolt. Magic fingers. I'm going by since Frankie missed with a twelve by eleven, must have missed. Oh no! I'll let you hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's always me. Oh, it's always me. I'm getting bullied. Round two begins, and you have three pissed off spiders. Uh, the first one is on Ralph, who has seen better days. Oh, it opts to shoot a web at Ralph. Uh, I'm guessing a 17 plus three dirty 20 will hit you. Uh, yeah, I think it will. You get pasted up against a stalactite stalagmite. Don't now, worry, let me we'll throw a candle at it to set it on fire. Does Let's that go. torch that's still lit at my feet have any interaction with this web coming at me? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. You're going to regret that statement. 
Well, he, oh come on! The oh, DM oh, knew oh. it was there. I'm, you know. I'm picturing a bald dwarf with no beard. Uh, yeah, uh, where have we seen that before? Isn't yeah. that an ugly gnome? Barnum, uh, you get a reprieve this time as your spider goes after Beal, <laughs> but not with a seven plus four. Gornak the mighty. Come on, Beetle Bob. Bite again. 14 plus 317? No. That don't hit you, does it? 17 get you? What, me? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Yeah, it's one over. It's just real nice. Oh. Give me a constitution save and take three hit points of damage. Hey, it finally worked. I got a 17. Three hit points of damage is all that you take. Uh, uh, Leon, you notice that Ralph is no longer present as he's been splattered up against uh, said I'll get you killer. Next time, Spider Man. You also notice that the spider you are facing off with doesn't look good at all. There must be poisonous fumes in here. Uh, I'm gonna go it? ahead and hit the one I'm facing off with again. Sure. That's a 15, 722. And 19. Uh, that's only eight. And that is six and five, 11. Uh, 19. That is one dead spider. Key. Uh, 17. Gornak bit twice, poisoned once. So every Don't forget you're rolling at minus yeah. one. Quit picking. Your spider's dead, Gornak. No, no, Ralph, no. Ralph. Ralph Spider is dead. Gornak's ready to attack if he's mm -hmm. listening. Oh, I'm ready to attack. Yeah, your yeah. turn. Sorry, I drifted off into nothingness. Um, Much bingo, like bada bing bong. Who am I closest to? Uh, uh, the spider that's bit you twice? No, other than that, like people wise. I, I, I rolled a one. Oh, very good. Odd even. Jesus. Six, even. Uh, you'll be close to either Barnum, Beal, or yourself. So one, two, Barnum, three, four, Beal, five, six, hit yourself. All right, so what do I roll just to die? Six. Die six. I can do that. Let's see, that is a big old three, baby. Uh, that hits Barnum. Good. Is it wrong to flip your son off? And so no. it begins. Hey, don't worry, though. I hear he can heal you. Yeah. I got great healing skills. Let's see how much damage that does. Oh, that, that strike makes me sad. My guided bolt misfires somewhere else. That's that seven was a, a seven. Or... That's seven not halved. So Three what hit points it? of damage, Barnum, as you oh, are blocked in the back of the head by an axle Funk. made. Uh, you now have a really funky haircut. <laughs> 12. Heal Ralph, yourself. D12 against me. Let's see if that fire. Does this charisma go down with it? Eight. Does this charisma go down with that funky Two. haircut? Oh, yeah. Uh, that web catches on fire. Uh, roll me a <laughs> D6. Three. Uh, as it goes up, uh, that the spider web just, it, it's like uh, flash cotton. It just goes right up. Your vest or your circuit, uh, whatever you're wearing around the trunk of your body is uh, on fire just briefly, uh, but you are free. What about his chest hair? What about that? Is that also on fire? If he had, if yeah, he had exposed that. chest hair, it would uh, be uh, cleaned off. Ooh, I don't have any exposed <clears> chest hair anymore. Beard. The, the beard does extend down to your chest. So uh, roll me a D4. That's how many inches of beard hair you lose. Oh, no. One. One inch of beard hair. Oh, oh you only have two. to get to repair all this damage. Sure. Man, you look 50 years younger. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Ralph, you are free. There are still two spiders available. Uh, also, right. Gornak is fighting the party again. Okay, I will <laughs> swing at whichever spider is closest to me. Uh, that would be uh, probably Barnum and Beals. All right, I will swing at that one. Yeah. And with, <laughs> with an 11, I think I miss. Damn it. 
Uh, the good news is you also missed Barnum's eyebrows. <laughs> Number nine, Beal, you're up. Uh, your associate standing next to you is getting the crap beat out of him by almost everybody. But the spider. Want to cast mage armor on yourself? Wait, what? Yes. Sure. Yes. One, na, 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 na. Is that, is, that that's her action, isn't it? That's her action. Congratulations, uh, you protected yourself. Barnum, you're up. Oh All right. All right. Now, do I heal? All of you, nobody's getting healed. Uh, uh, you're not hurt. Oh, yeah. All right. I am casting damn it. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little uh, I'm feeling a little bit of pain. You know, I'm I'm hurting just a little bit. You could heal me. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, there we go. Sacred Flame to the Spider. Deck save. <laughs> that one! <laughs> I will take maximum damage from that one. Well, it would have been half damage either way, because it's only four out of eight. So, Round three. Two pissed off spiders. Five disgruntled party members. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Barnum and Beal, odd even. Looks like I'm going after Beal. And looks like I'm going to bite her. Uh, nine plus four, 13. I'm guessing not with Mage Armor. Is that going to happen? Oh. Gordak the Mighty, yours is hungry and bites you again. Ooh, hooray. Hoorah. Four plus four is only eight. I'm Certain that is a miss, leading us yep. to Leon Sphinx. I'm gonna go after which I, I guess Gornax. Sure. I wish everybody would attack Gornax instead of mine. A 15 and roll and disadvantage. Seven twenty-two. Uh that's twelve. Oh, and twelve, twenty-four. Uh yeah, still alive. Uh, ba 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 Gornak, you oh, have oh. been rendered aid in the form of your brother Leon, but oh, your spider you. is still standing. I'm gonna try and hit it again. Hopefully, I don't hit Leon. You better not. Or Barnum. I didn't hit anything though. Well, at least that's not a fumble. He scrapes the ceiling yet again. At this point, I'm just gonna start drawing in the ceiling with my axe. You already oh. did. You know what? Wait till I put you in some kind of flammable cave like phosphorus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ralph, you're up. Let's swing again. You're up next. Huh? You knew that sooner or later this was going to happen. I rolled a one and I fumbled. Who were you aiming at? Uh, one Barnum? that was next to Barnum. So... D6. I told everybody not to attack mine anymore. D6, you're one, one two. Uh, Barnum is three, four. Beal is five, six. Barnum, three. Barnum, Barnum, Barnum. Barnum! Woo! <laughs> Your number has come up again. By I reject this ticket. roll and insert <laughs> my own roll to prevent this from happening again. Ralph, how much damage halved? Half of it will be three hit points of damage. You were very lucky. <laughs> yeah, he feels very lucky. Uh, <laughs> I feel that so far, only one person's getting any healing this game. Well, maybe two. Beal, you're up. And apparently, uh, Barnum has been the target of another oh, friendly what? fire incident. What, your spider? I'm sorry, oh, yeah, hit my spider? <laughs> Nobody else does. Hey, I'll drink glass. Uh, Barnum spider. You got to roll. Sure. I, will. I will. Roll the hit dice. I am. Don't fumble. Nat 20. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's 27. Roll that twice. This twice? Okay. Yeah. So you rolled. Six, ten, six, what did you roll? Oh, one die 10. So you rolled a six. Oh, I'm confused. And you rolled a four. So six, four, ten, fifteen. Hey. It, it's because you it's hit hit plus modifier. 
Oh. So you roll your hit dice twice, and then you add a, a damage dice twice, then your modifier, <laughs> which is plus five. Still alive, Barnum. You didn't kill him, but he's 15. Dang it. Doesn't look that good. Maybe Barnum can kill Ralph or, oh, yeah. Jack or the spider. I'm, I'm coming straight in on it. Oh, baby. There we go. 23 to hit that. Baby mama. <clears throat> Coming in for, ooh, max damage. 13 points with that battle axe. Uh, ah! That battle axe does so much damage that it splashes. Ah. Icor all over Beal. She is just covered in spider guts. Uh, at the end of this round and the anymore. beginning of fourth round, Gornak, uh, it's you or Leon. Uh, it's going to be you again. Ah, oh, nice. And it's going to be another bite because you're tasty. You're a tasty morsel, Gornak. Oh, that's nice of you. You know, in China, I'm three. considered a delicacy. Yeah, uh, does 18 get you? Does it? Oh, yeah, just by a little bit, you know. Sure. Uh, go ahead and do your con roll. Oh, I see murder hobo. So you're taking seven damage from the bite. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't even. I, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. And you're taking one hit point of poison. You're now at minus two. Uh, Leon. Uh, yes. Your, your associate has seen better days. I'm well, going I'm after half. I'm whacking a spider. That's an 18 and a 19. I'm wondering if this point, uh, if at this point, if I just hold a crossbow to a nine and fire it, it's only a nine, and or if the arrow will just pop out. All three spiders are now dead. Leon, you did so much damage to it. I core spews from its body. All over Gornak. <laughs> oh, I killed it. Look, it's got her on me. I killed it. It's just what I did this. Got Everybody perception. Hey, look, proof. Proof. Persuasion or perception? Is that what you perception. said? Perception. 17. Perception. Nine for me. 14 for me. I couldn't roll this. Five. Dicer. Not cooperative today. How is it when I roll anything other than attacks, I get a decent number? Because uh, you are you suck at throwing dice. Because oh, you're Frankie. Leon, you notice uh, pods of baby spiders on the back uh. wall. You also notice several more gems and several more gold pieces scattered throughout. Good. I'm going to point that out to everybody that the back wall's got pods of baby spiders. Hey. And they're so, all moving about frantically. Do I, yeah, do I do see any exits out of Any other ways out of this cat? No, that. Dead end. I wonder if these baby spiders are flammable. And nothing other than a few jewels and some gold on the floor, and that's it. Yep. It's, it's time to get out of here and head out back up. Anybody want to grab the uh, few items that are there? I will. What is laying on the ground that I can discern and pick up? Uh, you get two gems back. of six gold pieces each mm -hmm. and seven gold pieces. But in doing so, all those little baby spiders are now crawling all over you. Ew, I'm leaving. Okay. No, it's, it's like a fire. Okay. So I have a lot of fur, so that means I'm flammable, so I shouldn't light them on fire. No. I got that, but... I, I disagree. Oh, hold still. Hold still. I'll hit him with this hammer. No, no, I'm good. I you think. should brush brush them off. Yeah, There's crabs. Here, I need a little I got comb. a whip, Indiana. Let me brush those spiders off you. I, I got a little... Don't you? I need a little comb. A little comb would work real well. You know, a fire bolt <laughs> might get them off right off the bat. Yeah, I wonder if I just stop, run out of the cave, and then roll. What if I run out of the room and then start... Just Give me a dexterity check to see if you drop any of your hard-earned loot. I would never. Wait, that's not a thingy. I need to check. I would just be rolling and then adding. Correct. Correct. I need... I. That was the right roll, Frankie. Well, I got a 20. 
You did I not just, lose anything, and you crushed dead baby spiders into your armor and fur. Uh, you were going to smell. You are also at minus two to your attack rolls for the undetermined or a slash unforeseeable future. Uh, so you're feeling kind of pukey. Ah, nice. Uh, everybody else looks at Gornak as he comes running through, doing his best Chris Farley impression. You aren't <laughs> sure why he's rolling around. He's not on fire. It's the beast. Uh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Don't and you? Know. And you guys head back up the tunnel from whence you came. You still have the tunnel on the far right, or you can return to the main drag. Well, we can tie a rope around Raph and just push him down the, the path on the right. He goes falls right. down really well. All right. Yeah. Ralph, you up for that? You guys will pull me back up, right? Absolutely. Whoa. We'll pull you. <laughs> you're we'll pull you're, you're, you're actually going to pull me up, right? <laughs> yes, you are not bait. You're a valued you figured member. You could ranger run down the side of the mountain. You're a valued member of this team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like this idea. <laughs> I love this idea. <laughs> yeah, you put the paper in front of the face, but it still doesn't prevent it's not nose cancel. <laughs> noise yeah, cancel. I think I'm going to pass on being bait. Why not? It's an amazing job. It really suits you. Uh, okay, Ralph is uh, in pass mode. Anybody else want to volunteer to be? Baby? Come on, Ralph. You're a mount. This is your home. Uh, yeah, I know, but I'm not a baiter. He, he I'm an amateur baiter. If anything, you need a master. Oh, contraire. Yeah. No. I saw that one coming. <laughs> not in this. Not in this game. We don't. But in the other one, we'll discuss it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Only a I'll, master. I'll go down. You know, dwarfs afraid of the dark. I'll go. It's I'll, not the dark. It's the tunnel. I'll so, so, Leon, are you going to descend, or are you just going to become the rolling boulder that you wanted Ralph to be? I'm just <laughs> going to descend. Okay, who's holding on to the rope? I will I'll do it. Yeah. I, you, three you of you for holding ropes. Okay, you three right. roll, roll a d20. Make sure there's no ones. Ah, there we go. That's my number. Uh, are we adding our strength or just d20? We're straight up 19. No fumbles, Frankie. It's a five. It's, it's all right. It's a five. I'm helping. I, I got like well, I got, I'm, I'm not holding it like this. I'm just I'm kind of just grabbing it, not really tugging. Just holding you mean it. A, you mean a three there, Gornak? No, it's a five. Are you sure? No, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Uh, Beal, what oh. about you? It's a five. See, it's a five. Straight up, straight up, D20 roll. What's AJ doing? He's hanging out. I didn't hear. I, he, did he roll? That shit. You didn't, are you holding on to the rope? Nope. Oh, Sophie is? Yep. Well, okay. oh. I've got a whisper. I didn't know either. I'm going to whisper to Gornak when I go Gornak by him on the way down. I still say he's a damn hell dwarf. 15. Uh, so, Leon, they are feeding you the rope quite well, except for Gornak, yeah. who has a hangnail. Uh, but you slowly curve around, uh, and the breeze gets a lot stankier uh, and a lot more vibrant. Uh, and using your dark vision, you notice a slumped form ahead of you, right at the cusp of a vortex or a hole in the tunnel. The individual is wearing robes. Give me an insight check. Oh, 15 and two, they're three. summoning the oh, what was that? This the bird person would eat the snake god or whatever it was. It's a the uh, people said holy person's robes, yes. Uh, it's the snake temple that you were investigating, yeah. And didn't the one people, the people that we visited, didn't they worship the bird god or whoever it was, the yeah. giant bird? Yeah. So if we leave now and just run back to the religious people, they'll summon the bird god to kill the snake god. That's what I'm getting at here. 
So, so far, what the best choice to do is turn into a whale, zoom over there, then See, we get them. He's explaining wrong this with his hand. Game. It's wrong. He's putting the rope. Sorry. We just wrong we run game. over there. Game. Wrong game. We get, we get game. the bird. Okay, so we get still. We get the bird to get the snake by leading the snake out of there. By Alex being the master baiter as he okay. is running out of there, trailing it behind him. What the hell are you back? Can we can we change the subject about? before I get in trouble here? Now there are witnesses now behind. I know. Me. <laughs> I know. So Leon, uh, ahead of you is a limp form right on the cusp of a hole in the tunnel. One second. Sure. While uh, he's doing that, is there any like uh, solid beams of? Slagtite, slagmites around us? No, not here. Nothing there. Is there any? There's no stalactites or, or what's it? What what comes up off the floor? A pillar. Sorry. Mites. Mites. mites come off the floor. Is there any because of those? Mites around? is mites is an M. Ah, that's right. That was it. I'm sorry. Mites okay. Is an M. So there is a figure slumped on the ground in front of me. Yeah, you can hear a very faint moan coming from them. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move up slowly to them. Are you gonna yell out Sparta and kick it into the hole? No. <laughs> this is Sparta. <clears throat> Blood uh, coats uh, this individual's robes that may or may not have been gray at one point in time. Uh, a lot of dirt, uh, and you can see blood droplets around the body. Uh, maybe this was the uh, trail that you were finding. You see several large welts similar to what Gornak has on him, uh, on this individual. Uh, a matted, blood-soaked wad of black hair is here. You cannot tell sex or race at this time. No, I'm going to check he's still alive, though. Oh, there's a soft moan. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it over so I can. To he's the just front. moaning. He's just looking at us and going. Eat. You, and you realize it is on the edge of this hole. So I, are you rolling it towards you? Yeah, I'm just rolling it, roll it in there. Roll it back towards me. Yeah. Might as well finish you off. <clears throat> Give me a survival check. Uh, that's plus three sixteen. Yeah, you uh, roll it onto your feet. Or pause, as the case may be. Uh, it appears to be a youthful human female with dark hair. Uh, her holy symbol is languishing around her neck. Uh, multiple bites, several lacerations, contusions. Uh, she looks like she is not doing so hot. You need to stab her in the chest to open up her lungs, like they do in the movies. And then you got to put a straw in her throat. <clears throat> I mute. I'm more. gonna. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, uh, man, and there's no flat place down here. This just ends with this hole, right? Yep. Can't see anything down in the hole? Something down there smells, though. The snake god. All right. I'm going to attach a rope to her to secure her and start making my way back up the thing. You give, you give your rope a couple tugs, let them know. Yeah, I'm coming back up. Give me a survival roll on lassoing her. That's a 14. Your animal handling should be pretty decent. Yeah, it's not great, but uh, you wrap it underneath her arms, okay. uh, being the gentleman that you are. Uh, yank on your rope. Everybody starts reeling you in. Go ahead and roll me just a straight up D20, Leon. Uh, straight up thir 13. Yeah, you guys uh, notice that Leon is backing up out of the tunnel, and it appears as though he has a large mass of a human being with him. Here, there is a flat area. I'll, I get up top, I'll lay her down. I said, but found her at the bottom of that is just a straight drop off into a big hole. And that's where I found her at. A big smelly hole. I'm going to check her for a coin hole. purse while I'm at it, you know. Thanks oh, for being kind of handsy, are you? A little bit. We're going to look for a special pouch. D20 
D12. So is she up here with us? Yes, D12. Yeah, I brought her up. Leon. And she looks like she has spider bites and stuff on her. Yep, and Leon's stealing her up. I've rolled an 11, Leon. Roll your D12. So there's yeah, possibility she's got that. poison on her. And there. probably. Uh, Leon, you will be part of an inquest uh, in front of a jury with a doll as she points out where you bad touched her. Uh, <laughs> you cannot find a coin purse. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to cast time... Lesser re Restoration on her. Okay. Are you going to cast it close enough so Gornak can get it? Because he's still poisoned as well. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Gornak hit me. So I'll cast that on her. Hopefully that will take care of any of that. And then I'll do a Cure Wounds. <clears throat> sure. And she gets back. What's that nine, emblem that she's wearing points. look like? Nine points, you say? Nine points of health, and we'll clean up any poison. Uh, it is a lightning bolt. A lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. It is the goddess Electris. Hmm. Uh, she blinks her eyes, uh, uncovers her face, reveals that she is a uh, 18 charisma. Go um, ahead, look at Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And she kind of brushes away her hair, blinks her eyes, looks around at the torchlight of all your leering faces, and immediately Hello, wants to know who was touching her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that anymore. And thank you for healing me. I am Telsey. Uh, Acolyte of the goddess Electris. He I am Barnum. What are you doing in here? Uh, myself and a group of others were investigating this cave, and uh, it did hmm. not go well for us. Uh, what were those two guys' names that we, that we talked to in the um, uh, tavern, or whatever it was? One arm and one eye, or whatever their names were. Was it Frank and Joe Hardy? Yeah, I'll ask her if she knows them. The Hardy Boys? Yeah, the Hardy Boys. Yeah, it was Frank and Joe Hardy. Uh, yes, they were in my retinue. Ah, okay. I, then we've I met them. I was to say if I could ask her if she, how many people were in a certain group. There was, there was 12, yeah. wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Yep. There, was there was but how, how did you get into this particular tunnel? That was a dead drop-off where you were at. Uh, my group uh, was attacked uh, by several cephalopods along with a giant snake uh, and uh, snake I, God. I was substantially injured and fell backwards to retreat so that I could use uh, my powers of healing on myself. And I uh, tumbled down the tunnel and lost consciousness. Wait, how long Where? did they leave? About a week and a half. Yeah, so she's been in here for a long time. Mm -hmm. Are you still alive? Okay. That's just... So where, 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 where did the attack take place at? Where am I? Cave. Well, we're in the cave, and there's three different tunnels right here. We just, we're at the, we're at the plateau. Where where, at. We're at the plateau where you just fell off. The center it's one's full of, was full of spiders. No clue. All right. No idea where I'm at. Well, we might as well head back up to the first junction then at this point. Sure. Well, there's the whistling tunnel anyways. Yeah, the whistling tunnel, the tunnel of whistles. <clears throat> uh, may I follow you and may you show me the way out so that I can... We will say, my you, you say you're, you're a healer? I am a healer. Well, Gornak here got bit by one of those giant spiders that we killed. I'm nice. If you could take care of that poison. Mm -hmm. Can you suck the poison out? What is lesser restoration? What level is that, Frank? Oh, yeah, it's the first, isn't it? Uh, it's first level, yeah. No, second level. I couldn't the use second? It second, yeah. Yeah, she won't be able to then. Oh, what? Let me look. Well, hang on. I'll, I'll make her a level two. Wow, she was... She a cleric? She's a cleric. Uh, I'm going to go domain of life, cleric. I will make her lawful neutral. 
And I will generate her character. Ooh, well, that's not bad. Let's see if I got the charisma right. Eh, I didn't get the charisma right, but that's okay. I don't have uh, She has three first level spell slots, so she cannot uh, do that. All right, well, maybe uh, somebody else hint, hint, will do that. I'm going to look at. I need like a, a dice to roll up for madness. Just, you know, like a four sided dice with four different madness things. Whether or not I roll to heal or roll to inflict wounds, I don't know. I am slightly mad. Slightly. You really add way a lot of like, backstory to your character. That's what how you, you make it. That's more depth. than, yeah, you're putting a lot of depth into this man. He's crazy. I ain't crazy. I'm gonna scale one to one. That's very deep. You aren't crazy. The voices in your head say you are not. So yeah, I know. they are they almost do. never wrong. The voices tell me what to do, and they're never wrong. You guys are lucky I'm even wearing clothes when we go into battle. The voices. Uh, no. Ralph, uh, this uh, cleric looks at you and goes, What's up with your beard? It's still got some bouldering spots. It took me all months to grow this. No, I don't like it. Uh, as oh. you guys climb to the top where the split is, she looks around. She goes, "Oh, this is where the attack was." Huh. Right at this split point, where the uh, whistle noise was. Yeah, the left tunnel with the whistle. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a whistling noise in my head constantly from the damage I received. So, okay, it's all of us. Yeah, it was right here where most of our party was wiped out. We had gone down that whistling tunnel and faced uh, several uh, belligerents down there. Belligerents? Mm -hmm. If you go down about 25 feet, uh, it branches off to the right, but we went left. Mm. Well, right is always right, so you got the wrong. That's well, let's go down. Uh, who wants to... D12 against me. I will. I will. Go ahead. I dropped my die. I'm not. Ah, God. I rolled a six. Rolled a three. Uh, she sees the light outside and goes, uh, my newfound friends and rescuers, I would not go down there if I were you. Uh, but I bid you a fond adieu. Hey, before you step away, you want right. to cast heal on me since I cast heal on you? Trade for trade. Did I ever get heal casted it on me? No, you didn't. Oh, okay then. I should give you back seven hit points, Barnum. How many hit points did you lose, Frankie? I lost um, how much? I'm at 28. I had 49. I, I can give you a healing potion. Hang on a minute. I got one. I was mad at those two. I wasn't healing them. We're going to suck up your anger. Okay, here we go. One die four. Odds I go crazy and even I'll make a sane thought. Yeah. All right, there's the dice roll, Frankie. Are you wanting me to cast? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I know That's what I've done. Of. It's whether or not you get a wound or heals. I don't like your backstory. It hurts. <laughs> All right. Then I won't give you uh, nine hit points because you didn't want it. No, I'm fine. Okay. We're figuring out how much this potion does. This cool potion. This pit up Usually pit. they're one die eight unless it's another level. It's pit up to two. level. D8 plus two. two. There you go. One die eight plus two, Frankie. One die eight. Is that like the pure? Is that what it is? Okay. Plus two. I was trying to find it. I didn't know where to help. Is that this that. die? Is that, is that a die eight? Yes, that's a die eight. Roll it and then add two. Go let the dogs out, sir. That is seven. Nine points. No, it's seven overall. I add the two. It's it's seven. Kelsey bids you a fond adieu, and you see her shadow as she exits the mountain. What was her name? The mountain. Kelsey. T E L S E Y. Tonda. Telsey. Okay. Let's say we go down this left side. That whistling's starting to really <clears throat> call him my name. Is it exciting? Uh, Is it, it's like a dog whistle. It's I'll leave. You over there. All right. 
Uh, Leon, uh, much to her credit, even with the serious concussion, Tulsi is correct. You go about 25 feet. There is an off tunnel to the right. The whistling continues uh, down the inclined tunnel. Let's go uh, to the right and check it out first. We already know we're going to run into trouble down the left. Uh, as you curve around, a lot of S curves here, a lot of deep decline. Give me your first dexterity check, please. Okay. That's uh, 14. 14 is good enough, although you, you're, you're a little bit slippy. Uh, you also notice painted, not quite murals, but painted uh, pictographs. Uh, depicting a snake god or worship of said snake god <clears throat> uh, on both sides of the tunnel. So clearly I was right. I was the, right. the religion I was right. continues down here. I keep going, moving along. Keep my eyes out. You come to a um, plateau and it looks like two inclines, one to the left, one to the right. Okay. You know we're going to meet James Earl Jones down here. Yeah, I, I keep thinking that myself. <laughs> That's why I keep doing this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got <laughs> that. You got all your plants hey. behind you. My number. Which one? Right or left? Let's go left. Yeah. I, roll a dice. Odd, we go left. Yeah. We go right. Yeah. All right, yeah. fine. There it is. Yeah. Even. Even. All right. Oh. So you're going right. Well. Uh, dexterity check, Leon. Uh, 13 and 215. Uh, 15 is not good enough, and Damn you it. begin to slide uncontrollably, uh, doing the silver surfer. Uh, this, and is this stone? Like it so? is stone with Damn gravel. It. Uh, okay. Ralph, uh, as you hold your torch aloft, uh, Leon goes away. You can just hear him rattling down, uh, and he's somewhere. I thought this was an incline. Uh, it's a decline. Yeah, it's a decline. My apologies. Oh well, that's a little different. There, <laughs> Slim. <laughs> just by two letters. Yeah, yeah. Too big to whisper to him. Okay, I'm gonna go down it again with a rope tied around me and somebody holding on to the damn rope. Leon, are you okay? Leon. Oh, shit. Leon, you come to a abrupt stop down at the bottom. Your dark vision reveals uh, three passageways oh, and the sound of <laughs> moving about. Say your mic is muting all those noises you're doing. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, you hear some scratching. <laughs> Oh, but say it's a really good mic. It just damn. Oh, oh yeah, no shit. I mean like this. Yeah, you're still just muting thing. it too. Oh. Muting it. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Uh, here's something. This one mutes real well. How's that? Okay. Yeah, I hear that one now. Uh, Ralph, you're standing there on the plateau holding the torch. Uh, up, third up. one up, Barnum. Uh, how far down did I slide? Uh, give me an insight check. Is there anything up here at the top to tie a rope? Uh, up? 17 and 118. No. Is there to draw 20. a pit and pinion? Yes. Uh, Leon, about 125 feet. Holy shit. Steep, but you were so high on your decks that you managed to stay on your feet. Do we even, do we even have a rope that I managed long? to stay on my paws. Yes. I wonder if now so how far down 105 feet? 125 25. feet. Okay, well I can get us a hundred foot down. I don't have any more rope other than two fifty foot ropes. I now, have one fifty foot rope, so we can assuming that canteen boy knows his knots over there. Well, uh, I've got some rope. I could shoot it up on an arrow. I'd prefer you not. I agree with that. Oh, wait, wait. We can use gravity. We'll shoot one down to you. <laughs> There's an idea. Just catch it. Here, catch it before it hits you in the face. Okay. 
Uh, now, Bardo, are, are you are you doing a pitting in the floor? Into the wall. Sure. Uh, give me a survival check. Why? Landslide. Cave in. Wait, and is it Bardo that should be doing the uh, survival, or is it Leon that should be doing the survival? 30, uh, you may have to find a soft spot in the limestone, and uh, you get that pit and buried pretty deep. I have a good survival. I could do it. Uh, I could put the other stake in. Something you put a rope into to hold when you're doing climbing. So you guys tie the three 50-foot strands of rope down? Yes. Uh, as you guys are fiddle farting around with that, Leon, initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so hot. Well, after the 20, you know, we need your dice not to be so scorching. Well, five is really kind of a piss poor roll. Uh, tell me about rolling five. <laughs> Hold on. Gornak, tell us about rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see here, the trick to roll makes me feel oh, better with every roll. Here, let me just, let me just roll on your dice muted. Let's, let me just roll a die 20. If I get a one, how much do you pay me? Are you using your dice tower, Frankie? Yeah, I'm using my dice tower. It hasn't helped. Uh, it's gotten a little bit better with the dice tower. We thought maybe if he didn't physically touch the dice, you know. That would probably help. Leon, no. what's your uh, initiative? Uh, what I say? 17? You were muted. We don't know what you said. Yeah, 17. <laughs> yeah, what you yeah. said was... Well... Uh, so, 17... You see a cephalopod coming out of one of the three. Cephalopod. Oh. Is that like a. a, 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 a cephalopod a, has six or something. Has, wait, does it have six or does it have. It would be like a carrion crawler in the park. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm attacking it. <laughs> sure, there's only one. Yeah, why not? That's a 25. And the other one is a 23. Sounds of battle erupt as you guys are still trying to tie off the ropes. And you hear my battle cry. Meow. Meow. Oh, it sounds dangerous. Maybe we shouldn't go down there. That's uh, 15, 15. Wait a minute. Listen, you can hear a cat is, in the well. We must go save it. Seven and five is 12, and three and five is eight. 20 points. Nicely done. The carrying crawler is not happy with you. And it unleashes a barrage, a torrent, if you will, of uh, tentacle attacks. Who nat 20, 13, 6, and 9, 13 plus 4 is 17, and a nat 20. Is there a curve in, the, in this path? I mean, nope, it go down straight and down, straight oh, down. So Sophie could start, uh, you know, Beelzebub could just start launching Eldritch Blast um, helping. Sure, that's helping. Uh, does the 17 get you, Leon? Yeah, that 17 is my armor without my shield. Give me I'm going, I have a bonus action. I don't under, I've never had one. Uh, I don't understand quite how they work. Sure. Is that something I could do before this thing attacks or not? Sure. <sighs> that's a big sign. I'm going, yeah. Uh, what's that? That's a big sigh. <clears throat> well, I, I have Daunting Roar, and I also have Rage. I'm going to use the Daunting Roar. You have to do a, a Wisdom Saving Throw, DC 14, or become frightened of me. Everybody but Gornak, roll a Wisdom Save. Uh, that's within 10 feet of me. Echoing. Oh, okay. <laughs> So Gornak, you are immune to this, I would assume. Yeah, Everybody else rolls. Yeah. DC 14. 18 on the roll. I no chicken. I no chicken. I guess this I is all up 11. to me. She now. Rolled a 16. 11. I guess the mission is all up to me now. I'll save you all with my amazing rolls. And well, power. Beal passes. Oh, Barnum yeah. fails. Ralph. Uh -huh. I rolled a 12. Barnum or Ralph fails as well. So Ralph and <laughs> Barnum, the guys holding the ropes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, they frozen. No, they stiff. tied it off. They tied it off. Remember? Well, that? wait, wait a second. If they're frozen stiff, that'd be a good thing because they'd hold the rope and they wouldn't let go. Sure, but Leon needs to make two Constitution saves. Mm. All right, and he's going to take yikes some damage. Oh, he got lucky on that roll. Constitution saves Holy six. Shit. Twenty. My constitution a, saves a, were a twenty and a nineteen. Uh, you are not paralyzed, and I rolled three ones, so you take ten damage. Okay, that's still a big ouch. Uh, These are new safe. round, Ralph Barnum. Reroll your frightened. What's the wisdom again? Yep. Fourteen. Oh. There we go. 21. Four. Uh, so Ralph is still stiff as a board. Beal, what would you like to he's, do? He's a dwarf. What do you expect? <laughs> well, I didn't rule that he backed up and went down the other one. <laughs> oh. Did we get the rope? Was the rope tied together and dropped down? Or are we still holding You said it? you tied it off. To you a you guys were tying it together. And yes. you buried the python. So... You have not just thrown it down. But it's just in our hands tied together. Mm-hmm. It'll give this Celeste right. well, bod something to climb up. You, so that being the newbie. So Grandpa's still down the hole fighting. We just tied all these ropes together that will reach all the way down there so we can go down safely <clears> where Grandpa's at. We need to get down and help Grandpa. Now, or I was not. unfrozen. <laughs> Hey, hey, Alex hey, you stay out of it, mister. And your brother's just a moron. So hey. you need to get down to help your grandpa. What do you want to do? I'm very intelligent. I'll have you now. My brain? Okay, you need to think quicker. Psychology. No. Go help and your grandpa. Okay, okay, I'm not grandpa. Actually, Throw the rope down the hole. Throw the rope. What's her movement speed? Rope in the hole. She's a 30-footer. <laughs> just some rope in the hole. Uh, Gornak, what are you doing? Some good old rope in the hole. What am I doing? Yep. Well, uh, Beal is end over end going down into the darkness. You hear me cry and out. Everybody... In pain. You hear me cry out in pain when that thing hits me. Meow, meow. Ah, a cat in a well. I must go save it. I will also meow. wait. Who's up here? So it's barn. I would pour and... oil down the incline and light it so that you could see. That's how yeah. I would handle this problem. So wait, Robin once Barnum. again, Mr. DM. You're preying on my weakness of intelligence. I know. Fire. Fire and intelligence. You know, Gornak, if you cut the rope, Beal would make it down there a whole lot. She would, better. and if she bounced, it'd look real cool if she started. I, that's, a, that's a good idea. No. You might think about that. <laughs> you know oh, what? God. Maybe if you see if you could beat Beal down by running beside the rope. Yeah. yeah. That would be a good idea. Beat her down. Yeah. You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to, since I'm wearing plate mail, I'm pretty sure. What? How do? If I go to here, I can check. Yes, I'm wearing. Yeah. We're yeah. Plate. I'm wearing. I'm wearing breastplate. Apparently. Breastplate. Yes. So I'm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my back and slide down, and using and sticking out my claws since I am a lion, I can. Slow myself down by just holding it on my back, and yeah, that's, that's, what, that's such a good idea. <clears throat> that's I what I'm gonna do. Fantastic idea. That is I what think I'm gonna you should do. Go head first, also. Nah, I'm gonna go on my back. Beal, <laughs> uh, were you going facing so that you see the danger, or backwards so you don't see the attack coming? Don't the attack backwards. may be coming from up above. Backwards, you see Gornak flop over like a puppy and come careening down this inc- or decline. Uh, so you can roll acrobatics normally as opposed to Yeehaw. a disadvantage. So Yeehaw. make your roll to leap over Dang. Gornak, who is well, careening out of no. control. It's like Donkey Kong. You're Mario trying to oh, jump yeah. on the barrel. 16. Uh, you time your leap well. And Gordak goes skittering down like the U.S. bobsled team. Woohoo! Yeehaw! U.S. He's freaking Jamaican bobsled. <laughs> USA! <laughs> USA! Up top, 
Uh, Barnum, okay. what are you doing? Because Ralph is Ooh. freaking out. Ralph needs a green dice here. Gonna... Ralph, I command you to wake up. Do not you're roll a whip natural me? Is 20. that what's happening? If you roll a natural 20, you're going to knock him down the incline behind you. I so help. Oh, oh, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Leon, you and the cephalopod are at war. And you hear the chittering of additional ones in this honeycomb of caverns. <laughs> Don't worry, help's on its way. Woo! Yeehaw! America's I'm going into a, I want to go into a rage. Sure, I would. Because I, I know am. what's coming at you. <laughs> yeah. No shit. That's a hit. What'd you say a hit was? That was 21, so uh, I know 13. it 13. Uh, and that's a hit. Now I get plus two on my melee damage. Okay. So that's eight and two is 10 and five is 15. Five and two, seven and five is 12. 27 points of damage with that. 47 and then total. I've got one more attack. Hang on. How, 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 how do you have three attacks already? Oh, I have a tail, my friend. Oh, okay. I forgot about the tail. <laughs> I'm cutting that thing off for sure, oh. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now, do I use the same attack bonus with that as I do with the others or not? No. Okay, it's still 15. Still hits. And that's a die eight piercing damage. What's it got? A hook on the end or something? That's another six points. Still alive, and it is mad. Oh. Another nat 20. A 12, a 13, and a 7. So you can stop doing that shit. 17 and a nat 20, baby. 17 right. get you? Hang on a minute. No, you don't have to show us. We already know. Oh, thank God he was no. wearing pants. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> no, I don't, really naked I don't, from the waist okay. I don't have to see it. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm using my Please, reaction. there are children watching. <laughs> I'm going to roll a die eight, which lets me apply a bonus to my AC of eight. So my armor class is 25. At 20, get you. <laughs> yep. Nothing uh, else does. Give me your constitution roll. Got to love that tail, man. I like a little tail. How, how did you get 25? 19. I got it. You roll a die eight, you apply a bonus to your armor class equal to the number you roll. Is that from berserking or something? Yeah, I'm 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 raging, yeah. Rage? Oh, okay. Uh yeah. Nine piercing. That was my I hit my bonus or my uh constitution. Okay. Not paralyzed. Give me a perception check. Nine points, you said? Yep. Okay. Uh, 16 and 3, 19. Uh, you hear Running Man coming behind you. <laughs> New round, Ralph. Uh, we'll go in reverse order. You did not fall over the decline, into... but you got this big red welt on your face in the shape. Well, it's, At you. it's right here, <laughs> not here or here, but right here. Your new nickname is Tattoo. <laughs> I don't like it. Cougar. The plane, the plane, the plane. Well, I guess I'm going to rappel down this rope and go join in the battle. You want to slide down? 
Yeah, slide down like I did. Be cool. No, on, do, the, do the sliding cool. rappel. Take a loop around your waist and feed it out while you slide down on your boots. I think that's what I'm going to do. As controlled of a slide as I can with the rope. I've got the rope. Why not use the rope? Sure. Give me a deck save. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you slip Ooh. and fall right into the sepal pot. 14. I'll give you double your movement. What's your movement? 50 feet. No, wait, wait, wait. Double it is 50. Uh, Beal, as you reach the 60-foot mark, uh, smiling from ear to ear, realizing that Gornak didn't knock you on your ass, you see a shadowy figure <laughs> approaching <laughs> at high velocity. <laughs> uh, but you are at the 60-foot mark, so you're okay this round. Up at the top, uh, Barnum, <laughs> uh, the pitten appears to be holding, the rope is taunt, uh, everybody is down below, you can hear screamings, tail swishing, and uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle about to enter the fray. Party on, dudes! Or no, that was Bill and Ted. It's, yes. uh, uh, what was it? What did the mutant, what did those mutant turtles say? What did those teenage turtles Calabunga, say? Norm Calabunga. Uh, were you talking to me? I, yep. Okay, I'm, I'm talking to me. I'm descending talking down. To me. Are you going to do it like Ralph or oh, like shit. Beal? Oh, uh, I, I was going to do it more like the uh, Royal the her Majesty's Royal Army and round round the waist and run down. I'm going to get killed. Sure. Uh, <laughs> headlong assholes and elbows. Gornak the Mighty. Thus far, you have taken nine hit points of damage, and your armor is scraped to shit. Uh, <laughs> you cannot see where you are headed, uh, and you cannot see where you have been as you careen recklessly out of control. Leon. Did you hear that, Frankie? You got to give yourself nine points of damage. Oh, do I? Oh. <laughs> Leon, <laughs> top of the order. You can hear a cacophony coming in behind you. You have a cephalopod in front of you. Maybe more cephalopod on the way. And a rope coil is at your feet. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm in a rage. I hit with all three. <laughs> That's eight and two is ten and five is fifteen. Uh, it's only four. It's four, two, six, and five is eleven. I feel like somebody should be screaming cannonball. Four, five, nine, two is eleven. Eleven, eleven, twenty-two, and fifteen is thirty-seven. That is enough to bring the cephalopod down. That is also enough to bring out two more cephalopod, and they look pissed. Uh, Ralph, running forward. You know what? Let's switch it up. Beal, uh, you can see the pudgy form of Ralph the Mountain Dwarf careening down, realizing that he absorbs most of the tunnel. You can either flatten out and hope for the best. Try and leap over him in the uh, diminutive tunnel. Or screw it, let go, and let nature take its course. Bill, I want I, what I want you to do is I want you to Mario hop on top. Yeah, who's going to get screwed Ralph. here, don't you? I want you to, I want you to Mario hop <laughs> yes, on top I do. of Ralph. <laughs> yep. Watch out, Millennium. We're all coming down. I want you to Mario top on top of Ralph. And this like is where Goomba I get stomp him, flatten him. <laughs> uh, I want you. To, I want you to Goomba stomp Ralph. Is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going for three strikes right here. Turkey time. What do you want to do, Beal? Goomba oh, stomp. Gotta make it now. Goomba stomp. I want to jump over Goomba him. Stomp. She's going to try the leap of faith. This is not going to go well. This Probably not well. at all. Uh, no, I'm gonna get hurt. Ralph, D twenty straight up. Beal. D20 straight up. Right there. Roll it. 17. 12. 12. You don't leap high enough and he smashes into you. Bam! 
Ralph, give me a dex check or you will be careening out of control as well. Ten. I like to imagine you jump, kind of turn into a cannonball for a second and just kind of plow through her. Feel. You take eight hit points and are out of control, assholes and elbows. Ralph, you take six, assholes and elbows. Uh, Leon, that noise just got really loud as Gornak enters the fray. Leon, straight up D20. Gornak. Straight up D20. Gornak, yeah. you're facing off with the cephalopods, or are you looking up the tunnel? Because if you're looking up the tunnel, the cephalopods may get advantage. If you're keeping an eye on the he's, cephalopods. He said he was heads up the tunnel, so that would be he's looking down sliding, is my. That's they were sliding feet. No, no, why, uh, Leon. Oh, me. Yeah. I just got done. I'm not, I didn't say I was looking up the tunnel. I you said the cephalopods more two more came out in front right. of me. So my face is looking at them. I'm in a rage. I got no time for this shit in the tunnel. Two D20s take the lowest. Gornak D20 straight up. Well, that's a 20. And that's I'd roll two natural 20s in a row. Nice. Why couldn't I just use those for attack rolls? 17. I rolled a straight up 17. What does that do? <clears throat> Uh, that lands you right into one of the cephalopods and roll a d6. I'll give with you... my with my momentum. Can I have my axe and just kind of and kind not of your, not your axe, but I'll give you bludgeoning damage. Ooh, okay. Die six, he said. Die six. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I use my dice tower and we'll see how that works. We're using my hands, baby. Boom. Fair enough. A blur goes past you, Leon. Uh, you still hear a cacophony of noise careening down. Uh, at this point in time, Barnum, you will not catch up unless you just let go. Nope. I'm let go. Come into the light. Uh, Leon, you're now facing off with a cephalopod. Your associate, Gornak, has landed into another and is about to get nailed by it. All right. You're up. I was wondering, uh, do I look like Sonic when he's in the roll mode? I just look like a ball shooting past. You look like Sonic when the PlayStation freezes. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I'm wanting. I, I rolled an, an odd, which is insanity roll, so I think I am listening to the voices and letting go. I'm concerned. Oh, I'm I just... Fair enough. Uh, do you just start jumping down and hitting your head on the ceiling as you go? <laughs> I'm, I'm sprinting down the hole. If there's enough room for her to jump over people, there's enough room for him to run down, I would think. Because it was pretty much, I, I do what I like to call insanity rolls. Sometimes the voices just take control. Sure. So okay. is, what you want, is my attack now? or? Yep. All right. The what shadow, the shadow, the shadow people kicked me down the hole. The shadow people kicked me. Uh, Gornak, roll initiative for me, please. Yes. I hit with all three again. Okay. What's it, Whatever's in front of me. Number two. That's a... That'd be that seven, is, five, 12. That is a nine. 12, 24. And, and then, that's another 11. Mm -hmm. 13. 37 points. Okay. Yeah. Gornak, you're up. <laughs> Uh, I rolled a uh, nine for my points for my yeah. initiative. And the miss. Well, yeah. Well, I rolled nine for initiative. I rolled a five. Oh, okay then. So now I get to attack. All right. Yep. My big old ready axe. Let's see if I can hit anything with it. Are you oh, a two a attack, Frankie? No, I'm a one attack. What Wait, is rage it? Yeah. Okay, I just did the. Oh, what about a 13? Does that. 13, 13, 13 hits. hits. All right. Then we'll do this. You're not Form of the Beast. What were you, Frankie? I was magic. Oh. Wild magic. Wild magic. Yeah. Oh, Christ. That's why I haven't been firing anything off. Uh, that was a 10 for damage. And okay. as a bonus action, I will also enter a rage. You know, he only did that to gain favor with you, Frank. 
Mm-hmm. Sure. Doing the doing the wild magic. Leon. No more nat twenties. No nope. more. No, uh, best I could do is a 12 plus 4, 16. Second pawn stars. No, nope. he says the best I can do is about five dollars. No, no hitting, no hitting. No touchy touchy. Two fifty. fourteens and a 15, so two 18s and a 19. Yeah, I think that they just barely hit me. Three con checks, please. <sighs> oh, Frankie, big rolls. All right, one's an eight. That's your. Good. One's God. a nine. You're dead. And one's a 26. 18 hit points of damage, and you are paralyzed. How close is he to me? Uh, <laughs> roll a d6. I wish you guys to guess my amount of hit points. Hush, hush, hush. Let me, let me think now. Where's my dice? Right, now, let's... you've already gone this round, though. Also, I know, rate... I know. I rolled a three. He's 30 feet away. All right, so in a, it's too far, too far. In a rage. No, yeah. if you're within 10 feet of me, I can block your attacks with my tail. Okay, I was going to say, because in a rage, you can't spell spells. So, Ralph and Beal take five more hit points, and you are coming to the bottom. Oh, no, that's uh, the wrong one. Beal or Barnum. You also take five hit points unless you can roll successful acrobatics check. Eight. You take five hit points of damage as you are completely out of control, recklessly crashing down. Well, Top like. of the order, Leon. Welcome to die. Uh, Dornak is not mm-hmm. moving. There is a yeah. rumbling noise coming down behind you. There's Jesus. two pissed off cephalopods, one of which is clearly going to eat Gornak's gut. Well, they're going to have to eat him because I'm, yeah. I'm fighting the one I'm fighting. So Now that last con save you had, Frankie, you did you tell him it was a natural 20? What was it? Yeah. I don't think it was. I got, con, I got 20. Yeah, I got 20. I got 26 for the last one. Yeah, there were three but, successful hits, and he failed two of them. Yeah, yeah. Five, five, eleven. I you still sure you, eleven. You don't say, oh yeah, you say 14, I got a twenty-five. I didn't. I, didn't I, I oh yeah, I did get a twenty-six. So I did twenty-nine and five is but that thirty-four. Thirty-four. <laughs> Sorry, I got to add this stuff up as I go, or I can't remember. It. No, that's fine. Uh, What's wrong about that tail thing? That's a different. Uh, uh, that's a different path. Wow. Uh, Gornak, uh, roll me two con saves. If you pass them both, you will snap out of it. You will not be able to attack. That is a natural one. <laughs> you are God, you suck. in time. And wow. the other one, oh, the, oh, is that real? Is that the other one is also a one? I rolled two ones in a row. How in the hell do you do that? How can you suck that bad, son? <laughs> I just on you. Oh, my God. Ralph, I don't want to play anymore. I'm just done. Beal. Four hit points to Ralph and Beal. I'm just killing what? myself. I'm a B. Uh, Ralph and Beal take four hit points and roll any die, odd or even, for me, please. Dude, even. No, Ralph. Even. And Beal? Any dice. Just roll dice. Like here. You can do it on my, don't try. Are we at that. least at the bottom of the rope now? You are. You are in facing off with Gornak, the unconscious. Even. Even. And so is Beal. <laughs> we missed what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Ralph and Beal have landed at the bottom, and they are in the side where Gornak, the unconscious, is at. Uh, the, the monsters, however... We'll go after Leon. Well, she did tell us not to go to the left. <laughs> Two, four, five, and 17. Uh, 17 plus 421. Go ahead and give me a con save, please. I'm, I'm going to try to block it. I can still use my tail to block. That's another seven, so that's 24 points. Okay, so those miss. Uh, let's see. Uh, odd Ralph, even Beal. First one, Beal. 
second, Beal, third, Ralph, and Beal. So three attacks on Beal, one on Ralph. Uh, Ralph, you get the root beer one. Root beer. Root beer is seven. I have a six, a nine, and a 14. Does an 18 hit Beal? Yes. Roll your con save. Roll this. That's not going to go well. Roll and that. take eight hit points. We're all going to die. 11. We're going to die. 11? This is where the story Six. ends. <laughs> Here, you're paralyzed. Oh, that's great. Ralph, uh, you have arrived. Uh, Beal apparently rolled into the cephalopod and is now paralyzed. You attack. Second. The first thing I want to do is take about three steps away from this rope so I don't have Barnum land on me and knock me unconscious. Sure. You think the that second, would happen? Yeah. He was right behind me. The <clears> second <throat> thing I want to do is use my second win, which allows me to regain some hit points. <laughs> 1d10 plus 4, so I'm going to roll for that right now. Okay. I regain 7 much-needed hit points. <laughs> I regain 0 much-needed hit points. And the, I hope uh, that I can assess the situation and find something in front of me to attack. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Plain as oh, day. perfect. <clears throat> then I am also going to use an ax action surge. Nice. Which can be used one time. Yep. Barnum, it's uh, five hit points on this round from careening down the path. And I'm going to swing my great axe at this thing twice, like Lizzie Borden. Please All be right. a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. Oh, one of no. them is a 16. Oh, a baby. The other one misses. Okay. The 16 does 13 hit points worth of damage. That's, that's not bad. That helps. Oh, it's actually a 16 plus 5. It's a 21. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> new round, Leon. Uh, you know the sound that billiard balls make uh, when you have to pay <laughs> yeah. for them? Yeah, that's that's coming in behind you, and there's only one missing person. So pretty sure you can figure must out be Barn, probably. Yeah. Not that I care. That's a hit, and that's a hit, and that's a hit. It's yeah, nice I to have a. Your dice. I, 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 hit. I got mine are all strength based tags. <laughs> it's a, I got a plus seven. I wish I could hit things. You do. Uh, Ask your dad. 16, 14, and 2 is 16. 8, 7, 15, and 2 is 17. And when I say 16, 17, 30. I'll tell mom. You can't do that. I'll tell mom on you. 35 and 15. 50 points. You are covered in the eye core of the carrion crawler just as Barnum arrives. Uh, Barnum. Odd even. Even. D6. Two. Please be, yes. Ralph. Acrobatics check at disadvantage as he comes in behind you. Ah, <laughs> ah, I'm using ah. different dice. You know, hold on. Since, oh, you, baby. Since, since you stepped out of the way, I'll let you roll it one time. Either way, this is where the best rolls I've had. I already rolled it at disadvantage, an 18 and a 19. Nice. I'm burning my good rolls trying to get out of the way. Uh, you could have been knocked into the cephalopod. That is so, true. That is so, true. Gornak, you're down two, so give me two con rolls. I'm unconscious, right? No. I'm not. You're, you're oh. just paralyzed. Paralyzed. I thought I was unconscious. I saw how big. You might be incontinent, but. <laughs> I hate you all. You all are such big meanies. Okay, so cut. All right. Here's okay. one. That's a four. That's a 10. Here's another one. That's a 12. So you're still frozen in time. Yeah. Uh, Beal, yeah. you are down one. Go ahead. 
What she has one con save? Mm -hmm. Roll here. And Barnum, go ahead and give me an uh, initiative roll, please. You're she still paralyzed. <laughs> 17 on initiative. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, Ralph and Barnum are hovering over the paralyzed bodies of Beal and Gornak. Leon, you can get one attack in because you're boxed out by the NBA here. Okay. Or you can do a ranged attack. But there's only one cephalopod left, but because of the terrain. Who, who, who's between me and it? Ralph, Barnum, Beal, Gornak. Beal and Gornak are on the ground like cordwood. Okay. Beal and Gornak they're, are on they're, the ground. They're, they're forming a human fence. <laughs> that I can probably jump right over, huh? Uh, you want to crack your head into the ceiling? By all means, go right ahead. <laughs> no, I just want to know if there's a way I can get around. <laughs> nope, uh, because the... Uh, the Chicago Bulls here got you blocked out. The, the greatest walls you've ever seen. You, you will have to reach up and over the two bodies. So you're you saying know. I can do one attack like that? One attack, or you can go deeper into the tunnel to investigate to see if you can come around behind it. Because you haven't explored this cave yet because you're ass deep in opponents. Yeah. Well, then I could probably do two attacks, then. I can do one with a battle axe and one with my tail, which has a 10-foot reach. Uh, I will give the tail disadvantage because it's got to get in there. And I would say it's probably more like a whip. That'd probably be the time I'd freaking fumble. Well, that's okay. Uh, Barnum's right there, so... Why is it Barnum's right there? Why not Ralph's right there? Oh, let, me ask, let me ask this, then, because I'm exploring the situation. Which one of them stacked up on top? Uh, Gornak is on the bottom. Beal is on top. What Can I drag Beal out of the way? That will be your action, but you can. I'll drag then, Beal out of the way. That'll be my why action. Why not me? So, the next round. You're on the you, bottom, dude. I can't have do that. You uh, flip Beal off and then pull me. I pull oh, Beal off of You're me. up. Who's up? So it's okay. Ralph. Well, I'm going to hack away one more time. I'm just glad you guys aren't facing the deadly encounter because this is not it. <laughs> you like those like one out. characters from the other. This is an encounter full of a lot of shitty rolls, I would say. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, definitely hit it with a 23 mm -hmm. for 13 points of damage. Got it. Uh, Barnum, you're up. I am casting Warding Bond. Wait, wait a minute. Uh... Leon, you already have a good uh, AC bonus, don't you? Oh, yeah. That, that's okay. I'm going to heal you, knucklehead. So. Or wait. No. You can't heal Beal because she's been drug off. I drug her off the pile. I'm dragging her off the pile. You're not well, going to reach her. I guess you can heal me since you're standing you, here. You can heal you can Gornak. Ralph or Gornak. Yourself. Yeah. Or I the heal or Sorry, guys. I wish you could have healed me, Father. Offended. I healed myself, so offended. I don't drop down much. I'll there remember that. Don't yeah. offended. He's well, I'm writing it down. It's like the airplane. You put the mask on yourself before the child. It, you know, there is apparently an I in team, and it starts with Barnum. Uh, four attacks. One to two. <laughs> three to four. Five to six. <laughs> Barnum. <laughs> <laughs> Barnum, Ralph, damn it, Barnum, Ralph, damn it. damn it. So the Ralphs, uh, six and an 11, 15. Nope, and Barnum, five and five, nines. Uh, so, uh, Gornak. Give me two rolls. Beal, give me one. Failed. Saves. And does a 14 unfreeze me? 14 unfreezes. But I did it. Two. What's the other one? That was the other nine. one. Eight. It was a nine. 
Wow. Oh, so you know what? Your finger starts to twitch. <laughs> ah, at least they know I'm alive. Wow. You, you, you can't move, but you can feel pain now. Ah, oh, nice. Perfect. Leon, you may jump yes. over the ah. no paralyzed deal. Ah, I want to kill something. Ones, roll ones. I wish I could, but I'm yeah, paralyzed. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry. With a plus seven, it's kind of hard to miss with these things. You're halfway there already. A six. But a one all two is makes eight, me happy. And seven is 15. 45 points. That finishes off cephalopod number three. Well, as far as That's it, know, right? There are only three? Let me lick my tail. There's only three, three, but they came from somewhere. Well, that... <laughs> we need to go. Oh, uh, we need to heal. We need to heal. Yeah, we do, yes. actually. What do we do? Are we healing or are we going? Because you're in a cave with a lot of rock formations and you don't know what's behind them. I don't know if I can. Is this a go big cave where without healing? I thought there was like three exits at the bottom of this. Did I misunderstand? Nope, you did not. There are okay. two rock formations. So there's tunnel one, tunnel two, okay. tunnel three. Okay. I'm going to, while they're doing whatever they're doing, I, I'll drop out of my rage if I'm not fighting anything. And what's it mean? It says that I have uh, resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage, too, while I'm raging. What, I don't know what that means, to be you honest. take half with damage. Oh, so I have to take half damage on it. Shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, if they hit you on a 25. Dude, I love this. I love this. I get a plus seven to hit, and I automatically do 30 points of damage when I'm in a rage without rolling a dice if I hit all three <clears throat> with all three attacks. I so, wish I could do that, you know. Well, you, you decided could. you decided to be the wild magic boy instead of going bestial. Uh -huh. right. I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds. Okay. And Leon, what were you doing while they were healing each other? Eight points to you. I thought that Ralph was a was a was a berserker too, because I heard he was into bestiality too. But it was something else, I guess. Well, I think that was just propositioning you on the trail. Yeah, more <laughs> likely. Yeah, yeah. So what are you doing? Ralph, you got five points. I'm going to go to the over to the tunnel that they come out of, mm -hmm. and Ralph. take a look. Ralph first thing five. Before before this this Thank you. Thank turn you. ends and I drop out of my rage, I'm gonna take a quick look in the tunnel, and make sure there's no more coming up. Uh, nine you've seen pea pods before, right? I get nine points. Pea pods, oh. yes. There's a lot of them here, and inside. Well, with your dark vision, you can't tell what's inside. No, but I'm I'm assuming these are eggs. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. And Holy the pods are moving. Great. I, I, I'll come out of my rage. I'm going to go back and tell the other ones what's down that tunnel. Let's leave. Hey, guys, there's more death out here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's some pea pods down there. Great big peas. I got it's one spell slot left. So healing-wise, I can heal one more time. Heal me. Me. Well, you have the rope. Uh, you guys can just beat the shit out of Beal and Gornak until they wake up. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm already on like 17 hit points because you're not. I, 17 I hit points? And you're requesting healing? <laughs> this is such bullshit. <laughs> Boy, what's Did problem? you say 70 hit points? 17. Oh, I mean, I got down to 21. I know what he's talking about. That's why I healed myself. Down to 21? Down to 21? I'm down to 46. Ooh. Look how red his face is getting. I like yeah, it. I'm pissed. Hey, you uh, wanted to be a damn hill dwarf. I we know, are. and I didn't think that going down a rope would cause so much damage. <laughs> you guys, Leon, give me you a guys perception got, check. Oh, my God. You guys <laughs> took damage all the way down that damn slope. <laughs> Good God. Ralph is the only one that started out without possibly uh, gaining damage. 15. 
Uh, you hear some tearing behind you where you just came from. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell hey, there's the noises coming out of the cavern those things come out of. I think there's more of them. I think we need to retreat. We got to leave. That's why I'm leaving. Or I don't know. I I have. Like, I'll take a look down the next tunnel. What no, the hell? Yeah, cool. sure. You take a look down the next tunnel. The three tunnels all converge at the back of the cave. So okay. That's, that's where you saw the pea pods. And it's just one big cave. Okay. Mm-hmm. Guys, we need to go now. Yep. <clears throat> I agree. Up the hill. Yep. Who's well, going what? up first? We gotta get we gotta get Gornak on his feet, do we not? No, I'm fine. I think I'm awake, right? Who I, uh, somebody need a healing potion? Not, not Mr. 17 hit points over there. Okay, I would like one. well, if nobody needs one, I won't offer it. Then. No, uh, no, I'm okay. I got one spell. Who's going up first? I'll go up first. Strength check. Oh, yeah. That's a 21. Second. I'll go second. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and mark the rope as I go 15. up so I don't lose it in the dark. Lose it in the dark? You're, you're climbing <laughs> like this. I just knew the dwarf was behind me, so I was going to spray. <laughs> Who's the third one? <laughs> Who's third up? Are these two knuckleheads up now? Eh, ish. Ish. She's going up. Uh, okay. Beal, give me a strength check. Just roll, hit that zero. Come on, Beal. Hope for the best. Nat That's 20. Really she is speed Adeline. Uh, who's up fourth? Gornax. Gornak. Gornak. Gornak, good news. That minus two to your rolls has elapsed, so you're back to normal. Oh, there was a minus two. Yeah, I never, I never, I never minus two. You got it. Those rolls will appear and clean. What happened there was no slander. Minus two, my effect your rolls in positive ways for some reason, somehow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
How'd you do today? <laughs> I learned today that we have very different definitions of I'm low on hit points. <laughs> How many hit points before, you got, AJ? Before when healing. I was low on hit points, I was at five. I was at eight before I when I was roll low. I was at eight. I was single digits pretty much that entire battle. Same. From the time eight. we got to the bottom of the rope until that final uh, cephalopod died. Just, just don't Same forget here. You hit the mad cleric with your fumble shots. He doesn't forget. He gets a little crazy, but he doesn't forget. You know, no, no, you lived. <laughs> Folks, that's how you play with three generations. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead there, tinyurl.com slash flag. Uh, if you want dice that don't suck, uh, hit up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And if you don't want your rolls to stink, uh, try dropping your dice in Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com, maker of the Shine system, so you can write gooder than me, as well as the uh, now closed Kickstarter How to RPG with Your Cat. Uh, boys and girls, we'll see you on Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Let's give them a kiss and a wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Bye.